Hello, I'm Littlewood, and welcome to another Minecraft video for me. Um, this one's just going to be a quick update, showing you my lovely, lovely, crazy golf course. So, let's get started, shall we? As you can see, I've put a nice little sign showing you all the way to my theatre, as I had a friend here and he got completely lost. So, I'm just going to grab some wool. Um, some people, well most people, they like to use um, either slime balls or snowballs, funny enough. But I prefer wool, as you get all these nice little pretty colours. So I'm just going to play through the um, first set of holes. I think I stopped at um, um, either hole 6 or 7 in my last video, and it's actually progressed quite a bit. So I'm just going to sh show... Um, off the old holes, just for those that never saw my last videos, I can't be bothered to show them what it is, and I bet they're lazy as well. So here we go, hole two, which is a creeper, and it's just a simple clock with um, a redstone repeater just to slow down the thing going up and down. And is it in? No, it's a uh, hole in two. Yeah, right. I can't be bothered to throw that in. And as you know, may or may not know, um, Minecraft golf is a bit different from normal golf as it doesn't bounce off, it more of, um, hits the wall and then slides off in whichever direction it thinks it should go in. And as, so it makes uh, making holes that are challenging a little bit um, challenging really. And then you have um, Cobblestone Castle, I've added um, some sand pits in so it makes it a little bit more challenging. And those that saw the last video, it's the one to the left you go for if you want it to go directly in the hole. These ones here, they just put it slightly off, and that one's quite a long route, pushes it. Well, the river just pushes the block down forwards, and then there's another stream that pushes it to the left. Just go through here. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was a creeper then. So yes, left one goes straight into the hole. Just collect my wool as it's quite scarce. And then this one is Minecraft. I actually had to go and um, around and reset this one. As once um, you, you know something goes on the pressure pad, the pist oops, <laughs> the piston throws up, um, it's up, and the pressure plate comes off. And my world is infested with cows at the moment, so it's a little bit manic. So unfortunately, actually every time I come to play this hole, <laughs> the cows have completely trampled all over it and ruined it. And you may recognise this one, this is the dog house and it's in loving memory of Stampy Longnose's dog called Gregory. And this one, it is possible to get it in a hole in one, but obviously I failed. If you wanted to get in a hole in one, you just have to get it across the bridge and into the water there. And there's a cow stuck in the scenery. It's because the cows are stupid. And this is the last one you actually saw me build, which is Stampy's Love Garden. And there's one of the future holes, which is a pirate ship. And a little update to Stampy's Love Garden. I've actually put my old, my own sign in. So I feel right at home now. Of course, I'm not going to put everyone's in. Because People are gonna go. Oh, can you add me to my love, to your love garden, little wood? But obviously, if I do that, you won't be able to see where the ball's going. I'm not sure if the wall will actually go. Yeah, it actually, will go through the signs. So I guess that make it a little more difficult. To add them in. Uh, I can't be bothered to do it. Come on. And this is the latest one, which is called Tomb Blocker. Now this one is actually quite a complex one. I just try and see if I get in. Which way is it going? Oh, it's stuck. No, 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 it's going, it's going. So, I have got it almost in one. That's a bit of a disappointment. So, yes. Did I pick it up? So, yes, if you haven't guessed, um, if you throw the wall, if you can throw the wall in, grab that. Yeah, if you throw the wall in, the water will push it in a certain direction if it'll do it. Just throw a couple in. 
basically, as you can see, you've got pistons that either throw it out to the right here, or to the left, well, or in front, into the hole, <laughs> or to the left. And of course, if you don't feel like taking your chance by throwing it in there, you can obviously, of course, just throw it down there and it takes a little bit longer. But not much. And this one, it isn't actually a clock, it actually runs on minecarts. So obviously I've had to put a little service shaft in as I came here just before making the video and it actually had stopped somehow. I don't know how. Maybe something came in here. But I've put little instructions just in case I put this world for download. So you can reset this if anything goes wrong. But what it is, it's two minecarts. Got this minecart will hit these pressure plates here which turns off the um, piston there so the water flows out then it does the middle then it does the left and by the time the one on the left's done the one on the right starts so it's all nicely synced up and that took quite a while I believe I can't really remember I made it so long ago I've been on and off making this golf course can't let me out for quite a while uh, no that's just a random hole and look I just found some more wall <laughs> So then we move on to, um, what is it, hole 9 now, which is Herobrine's Crypt. Just throw that there. You can go either way. There's a little hole here which just pushes which is the wall out to here. Then what you do is you just basically throw in the hole. And you're supposed to get hit by the thing. Obviously I was at a slight angle, so obviously I didn't get hit. No, I'm not being hit. I'm invincible, apparently. But I can guarantee that I did get hit earlier. There we go, I got hit. So yeah, that's just a little joke playing with Hero Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. Brian. Hero Brian. There we go. <laughs> Pronounce the thing correctly. As you can see, a secret door. You just flick the switch. And opens up to the next hole, as it says it. And you've got a nice little sign saying do not touch the scenery as this is actually my I think it's my favourite because I actually like it quite a bit because of the scenery as you can see you got every well pretty much every ore known to minecraft in here with a minecart going across the top there and there's also one there and a little um, scenery at the back there which you won't be able to see once I go under there as it's actually just blocked off so, I'm not sure. I think it's par 3. But you can actually get in par 2 if you can throw it over the top of the track here. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, you can't see the zooming of the head. And that noise is more pistons, just throwing it left to right. It doesn't really make a difference. So, actually getting it in. As you can see, you've got pretty much every ore known to Minecraft. And over here, you've even got this new ore called Emerald Ore, which I believe is supposed to be the new Minecraft currency. So you go up to a villager, you say, hey, can I have blah, blah, blah? And they'll go, sure, let me just strip you off. Because they're nice like that. And here we have hole 11, which is the graveyard. And this one's got um, a new feature which I built in, based off of some of the um, other ones, which I'll just show in a minute. I'll just get the ball around there, basically from there to here, and into this hole, and whoa, what's going on? Where's the ball going? And what do you know? It's actually going over to this second half here. Now you may have noticed some of these signs, it's actually playing joke to Stampy's wonderful habit of keeping his dogs alive so we've got here lies one of Stampy's dogs then you got come out of the way pumpkin um, Gregory the dog had an arrow to the face as you do and then finally here lays another one of Stampy's dogs so I'm not actually sure how many dogs he's killed maybe one of us should keep track of record maybe Stampy does know and there you go over and into the hole and there's another pressure plate trick where it just basically throws up a little pumpkin that says peekaboo to you and try and see if I can get Stampy to play and see if he gets scared by it <laughs> actually so I think this is the second to last hole now now Stampy is actually going on holiday next week so I will probably make another video then 
and just so that you lot get your well weekly dose of Minecraft goodness. And this one is actually quite difficult where it's actually quite narrow. So you just throw it into the water here and it pushes it out to this little section here and then you can get it into the hole which is at the bow. And if I go to the stern now, uh, we can actually go on to, uh, well, technically it's the bridge and you've got a little steering wheel made out of a um, trap door. Yep, that's the word I'm looking for. And also you've got the rigging and a little pool of water to stop you getting hurt if you decide to jump down. So up here, oh, it's getting dark soon. Hopefully there won't be any googly spawning. Uh, I think I might have it on peaceful because I'm a wimp. As you can see, you've got a nice overview of the um, entire golf course with the whole one there going all around here to a little house I built whilst uh, I was just so I could skip to morning so I wouldn't get any googlies blowing up the place and there you go there's the um, haunted one there all the graveyard as I should say with a little dome built over the top I just jump down go on down ow <laughs> Yep, and like I said, put the water there, get hurt, which is pretty super for me. And then you have this one, which is Skull Island. It's um, um, well, this was actually all um, a hill and a cliff face. I actually had quite fun blowing it up, all up with TNT. So just throw the um, wall over there. Hope it doesn't go in the water, because if you do you get a water penalty of plus one so that was my first shot but if I got into the water it would be plus one so I'd be on my third shot now you just get into the hole here and off it goes onto a little um, well conveyor belt and go into the skull cave as you can hear yeah, all the pistons that work because it's actually pushing the wall back up to the top if I just remember which button is trapped it's this one you can see the pistons hard at work pushing the wall back up to the top just throw this off and then we get it into the hole hello I'm Littlewood now you're probably thinking hold on this is the same video well you are right I decided just before finishing making my previous video that I'd actually carry on and finish off my golf course. Now today I'm joined by a very special guest. He's from a different dimension, from another world. Yes, that's right, I am joined by Stampy Longnose. And there he is. Hello Stampy. Now Stampy can't actually hear me, and I can't hear him. So it's going to be a little bit interesting communicating, but, um, um, well, I can't seem to move. Um, and, oh, he seems to be making, well, writing a sign. Okay, what are you writing, Stampy? Uh, hello? <laughs> he takes so long writing messages. Hello? Hello? I'm going to throw snowballs at you. Oi! What? Come on, yeah, hurry up! <laughs> is, he, is he done? Is he done? Oh, he's done! Got to poo. Well, aren't you charming? <laughs> okay, well, I guess that... I'm gonna have to leave him there. Okay. Catch. Up. Slow mo. Right, so as um, Stampy seems to be on the loo, please don't go there, whatever you do. We're going to um, carry on and have a look at the last 18. Well, not last, well, all the holes going up to the 18th, basically. So as you can see here, I've drilled out this nice little area. And I've made a little door here. This actually took me quite a while. I took a um, looked up a tutorial for it. So um, let's see what it does, shall we? So as you can see it goes in a lovely spot. It's very hard to make actually. I'm surprised anyone managed to think up with it. So you have to go through. Uh, always um, it um, 
um, basically makes you get stuck and die. Yeah? When I was me, well, just after I finished making it, a creeper actually got stuck in this. <laughs> it was actually quite hilarious. It actually just died. It didn't give me any gunpowder. And as you got got a little, um, what is it, uh, iron golem here, a little robot. As this is all a science fiction themed area. As you can see, we've got a lovely TARDIS uh, Enterprise. That's supposed to be a terribly made Death Star. Because if I'm gonna have like Star Trek and um, Doctor Who. You know, you've got to have um, something to, for the um, Star Wars fans, otherwise they moan. So as you can see, we've got a full penalty, which is restart. And um, hole 14 is just space. So, oh, don't want to throw the sword. So you can go either side of the, um, um, well, meteors or comets, as you can see. It's actually, took me quite a long while. This, is, this one wasn't actually dug into a, a hill, it's actually quite an open spot so I actually had to build the roof myself so, almost into the hole yeah it's got a lovely um, little solar system and a melon that floats in space space <laughs> and then it's not really as hard as I would actually have liked this hole in fact I've got in four which makes a change because I usually get in three so we'll have a little nosy around just to show you a lot, got a little Jupiter or Saturn or something, planet with a ring, and like a little so, whoop, solar system. Now, I, I am playing on peaceful because last time I came in here, before I put these lights in the floor, you actually um, had all googlies spawning and you had creepers and that, and I thought, sod it, I'm not risking the chance, I'm going to play on peaceful. And can I get up there? And yeah, as you can see in the title, it says, look. Easter egg. If I can get some wool, and it seems to be lagging a little bit where Stampy's with me. I'm destroying my old own course. Just nope, gonna have to get some more. Get get two more I think. And you can just show you the inside of the TARDIS really. And as you can see, nothing ex special and got a little sign saying, Well, what were you expecting? I can't really build the Entire oh, inside of the TARDIS. That'd be silly. Plus, it would eat into um, the other holes over here. So, I'll just carry on. So, I've finished this hole. And as you can see, got um, a little. Oh, yep, we got lava just to get the. Um, what is it? The impulse thrusters. So, it's there. Right, look, because I actually based it off of the one from the um, original Star Trek films with. Shatner and all that, uh, which I think is the best design model apart from the original series. The new one just looks blah. And hello, what's this? The room of no requirement. Stampy hasn't actually seen this yet. Um, I, uh, yeah, he's still there. He's still on the toilet, obviously. So you can probably guess. Yes, it's going to be a, another Stampy Long Nose themed hole. Let's go through here. Yeah, and here we are in the next hole. Put a door here, yeah, where the actual door is in Stampy's room, but it leads on to, um, well, the space hall we just came from. And yeah, so hole 15 is Stampy's room, and it's a par two. Now we've got um, a load of pistons going up and down to make it look more difficult. Um, if you lose your ball, you have to restart from the beginning, and the balls actually all end up down here. Yeah, and as you can see, it's a pretty accurate representation, apart from the outside, as obviously it will never be as accurate as Stampy's real world, which I still haven't had the chance to actually go to, mainly because I'm on PC, he's on Xbox, so I can't join him. I'll just show this off. Oop, nope, I got in the water. Well, that's first for me. So let's try it again. So that's one. Go, 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 go! Yeah, just made it. So yeah, it's, you got it's actually pretty much um, accurate. I don't know how accurate it is. Obviously, he doesn't have ice all over the floor and these pistons here. Obviously, you got um, the loser sign and the bed for one because no one loves Stampy. Ah, so that's a uh, in free just. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said before. You need red s 
stone torches as normal torches just melt the ice away and that one's just further enough away. Yeah, so I just got it over far there. That's not very good of me. So carrying on and let's have a check on Stubby. I can't see his little thing, so no no no. Did I just see it? Yeah there is it's that tiny little thing there. So you know, I think he's still there. You know, I'll finish this video before he actually finishes. So here we have a nice little nether portal. It's not really a nether portal, although you could actually use it as one. Even though I don't recommend it. Otherwise you would actually miss this awesome hole. So you've got hole 16, the nether, par 7. So you've got to be very careful as there's lava about and you can lose your ball like I almost did. You just throw it into the hole there and wait, 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 what? Oh no, it's a fake hole that goes into the lava. I should have known that because I actually created it. So what you got to do is you've got to avoid that hole as it's fake. Go over here and swaps of snowballs and you've got to actually get up this lovely staircase and oh dear I've got in the water again yep so really you have to be all the way up here to be able to get over the top it's a bit of a nasty hole but hey most of these have actually been quite easy up to now so it's, let's up the um, difficulty first and right now I've had to cut the video though because I actually ran out of snowballs so um, if this one here leads to lava that one there also leads to lava and the one you want is the middle one as usual and I just missed that and there you go into the hole and no sign of Stampy yet come on if you're wondering we are actually playing a game of golf right now I'm currently winning by um, six I say six really I'm losing by one <laughs> No, I'm only kidding. I am actually beating him by six. <laughs> so here we have hole 17, the stronghold. And as you can see, these last one was Minecraft themed. This one's Minecraft themed. You can probably guess what the last hole is going to be. And this one, you've actually got a water penalty shot. So just like um, on Skull Island, if you get it into the water here, you'll get a point added so if that's my first shot I get it into the water like I have that's suddenly my second shot so this will be my third and actually I'll carry on so you just keep throwing it hopefully it won't go into the water so that's three and four and we're in right and then and then we're into a lovely little room with the portal to the end. Now I haven't pointed this out before but in the uh, graveyard there's a door like this and in here there's a door like it and what I've done is I've put a redstone torch directly underneath the door so it stays open so you don't have people locking each other in. Isn't that nice? Right, I'll just jump down here into the portal and we'll go this way. Yes, so here we are in the end which is hole 18 I thought it would be um, pretty appropriate as you can see I've got all the weird towers and I've swapped out um, the obsidian towers for black wall and have the obsidian to make the um, stars well these weird starry background so it's a par 3 you know you expect me to do something special for my last hole but as it's the end theme I thought hey it's the end, right? You know, why make something special? The end wasn't particularly that special. It was very long and very boring. I should have made it quite a long hole, but made it very unspecial. I did think, actually, um, whilst making this hole, maybe I should make it like the same as the first hole, you know, have it as a par of one. You know, a really simple hole even though Defenian Dragon is ridiculously long. So as you can see we've got a end portal with an exit on. Now where is Stampy? It's taken absolutely ages. Yes, oh well, this video will be done soon anyway. So you jump down here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Come on. Out of the minecart. Come on. Thank you. You stole my minecart. Evil. 
Right, let's see. Uh, game mod um, one. Let's get ourselves a minecart. Right. Uh, right. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that was exciting, wasn't it? And um, you'll see in a second, but this was a complete fluke. I managed to dig along, and actually, actually when I started digging up, I ended up um, digging right into this here building, which was a complete and utter fluke. I had n no idea that I was going to make it, or whereabouts I was. It was just a complete fluke altogether. Shortly, I'll be uploading the super special video, but right now, me and Stumpy are going to finish our game of golf. So from both of us, bye bye everybody, bye bye.